DECA, 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 DECA. People want to know about DECA. Let's dive into DECA Durabalin. Developed and made in 1960, you guys, DECA Durabalin has been around for a long, long time, and it has been a staple in the bodybuilding world used as an anabolic steroid for pretty much the entire time it's been available. ECA is a great compound to use stacked with testosterone to put on as much size as you could possibly want. The thing with DECA is that it's a long acting ester. So you have to be aware that if you have side effects from using DECA, which is likely to happen for a lot of people, that it can take a while for those side effects to start to diminish or go away. DECA is a 19 nor compound and 19 nor compounds are specifically responsible for increasing your prolactin, all right? If you guys don't know what prolactin is, I would definitely look it up. But prolactin can cause really bad things, okay? It can cause things like gyno, it can cause lactation, and so much more. One of the most popular things that people will experience with DECA is DECA dick, all right? This is literally when your downstairs doesn't function the way you would normally expect it to. And this happens because DECA can raise your prolactin. So if you're sensitive to things like that, you should probably avoid this compound. I gotta tell you guys, I didn't believe it, and it happened to me within about four to five days when I started using it, which is pretty fast, all right? I knew right away DECA wasn't for me, and I switched to NPP, which is very similar to DECA, it's just a shorter acting ester. Sometimes what can happen though, is that if you go, let's say three, four, five, six weeks using DECA, and you don't have this side effect, and all of a sudden it comes out of nowhere, and it scares the hell out of you, because trust me, it will, you're gonna obviously try to come off the DECA to correct the problem, but it can take another few weeks for that problem to start to go away so that you can function again like a normal person. This has happened to not only one of my clients, but multiple clients over the years, which is exactly why I never recommend people use DECA and they use MPP because that side effect is far less likely to happen. However, there are tons of people that use DECA on a daily basis and don't have any problems. The fact is, you're not gonna know until you know. Now, when it comes to the amount of DECA to use, I can't give you guys personal recommendations, obviously, but I can help you guys out just a little bit because there are multiple ways people use DECA when it comes to bodybuilding. DECA can be very therapeutic to your joints. So there's a lot of people out there that will use small amounts of DECA, around 50 milligrams a week, to help with their joint pain. And this has been very, very popular recently because it really does help and it really can work. At a very small amount of a dosage like that as well, it's not gonna give you significant anabolic gains, it's just gonna help a lot with your overall discomfort if you're experiencing joint pain. The next most common way to use DECA is to run it at a two to one ratio with your testosterone. Now, what does this mean? This means you want to base the milligram dosage of the DECA you're using off of the amount of testosterone you're using. So if you're using 600 milligrams of testosterone, then you probably want to stick around 300 milligrams of DECA. Usually, people are less likely to have prolactin-related side effects from DECA when they do this, but there's another way that people also do it, which I've never tried, but seems to also work. The next most common way for people to use DECA is to actually run it higher than the amount of testosterone they're using. So in this example, let's say that you're gonna use 300 milligrams of testosterone. People will typically use four or 500 milligrams of DECA. Now, again, I've never done this. It's not something that I ever have clients do or I recommend them to do, but there are a lot of people out there that I've experienced with recently that have used DECA in this way and again, say that they get far less prolactin-related side effects. This is gonna be one of those compounds where you have to play with it, you guys, and be careful. Start small and work your way up. Slowly progress through it so that that way you get an understanding of how your body's gonna respond when you're using this. Trust me when I tell you guys you wanna have a method to the madness, all right? Don't just start slamming it in your body along with slamming testosterone in your body and not really thinking it out clearly or starting low and working your way up good enough, okay? You don't wanna just jump on a bunch of this stuff because it's not gonna end good for you. Now, if you're already on DECA and you are experiencing prolactin-related side effects, there are two different things that also work to reduce prolactin. The first one is cabergoline, which is extremely popular for reducing prolactin, and then the next one is gonna be Pramipexil HCL. 
I can't really help you guys with getting Kaber, it's really hard to find, but if you guys need Pramipexel, you can hit the link on my page and go to MA Research Chems, where you guys can buy Pramipexel HCL from my guy over there. And if you guys use my code NMFITNESS in all capital letters, it'll take 10% off for you to help you out. All in all guys, DECA is a great compound for building a lot of mass, and it is a very popular compound for building a lot of mass. As we discussed, it's been around for a very long time. My biggest thing is that I want you guys to be careful with it because of the prolapse in, take it low and slow and work your way up, all right? I love you guys. I appreciate you guys. If this video helped you guys out, smash that like button, jump over and subscribe because you know we're making all kinds of banger content over there to help viewers like you out at home. Hope you guys have a great day and we'll see you on the next one.